One option could be an exciting substance that offers a revolutionary new way to produce sound. So this is our um, test room. I've come to the University of Hull to meet Brian Smith. So if we just put some, some sound through that. This huge expanse of plasterboard is creating this incredible sound. But this whole surface is now the speaker. Because it's being vibrated by a small piece of matter hidden inside this box. It's got a surprising amount of bass. Somehow I wouldn't expect it. I want this at home, but I don't think my neighbours would like it. This hefty material is called turfinal D. Small pieces of this weighty stuff will turn any surface that can vibrate into a speaker, from a wall or table to the bone of your skull. I can feel the iron, that's heavy. Yeah, don't drop it. No. <laughs> it's a magnetic alloy that contains some very unusual metals. It's about 70% iron and about 30% um, dysprosium and terbium. So this is an entirely man-made synthetic block of rare earth material with iron. Correct. And what are the properties of this material that make it so extraordinary? You can control the length of it. So what happens is by, by exciting the magnetic field you can either make it longer or shorter. So you can actually change the shape of this with a magnetic field. It can be squeezed or stretched. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The beauty of Turfinal D is that just tiny changes in its shape can vibrate huge solid surfaces when held against them, turning entire rooms into speakers. It's a, a synthetic very, very reliable um, magnetic material that converts energy into physical movement. Very, very powerful. That, that piece would push probably 10 tonnes of, of, of load quite easily. There's a huge amount of force can be generated by this. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, a huge amount of force. This clever material also responds to a great range of frequencies from zero hertz to 60 kilohertz within microseconds and never fatigues. So that ability to control the amplitude and the frequency, so not only how often it vibrates, but how much it vibrates. Yes, that gives you control over tone, it gives you control over volume, absolutely. It's very, very powerful and allows us to turn resonant surfaces into speakers very effectively.